Hey, what's up, guys? Mitch HD here, and I'm here with the Alaska Airlines 737 Um Before I get into it, make sure you go check out my Southwest 737 700 American Airlines A330 and United 787 unboxings, um, which I just did. And also, don't forget to check the description for anything in this video, video you may have missed or um, just anything you don't want to review the video again for. And also, my social media links will be down in there, as well as all the other links. Um, so, I pre-ordered this model from easytoys.com, that link will be down, this, down in the description as well. Um, this is my first Alaska Airlines model and my second 737. Alaska Airlines is the seventh largest US carrier. Their operations base is out of Seattle, Seattle Tacoma Airport and other hubs include Lax, Portland and Ted Stevens Anchorage. They were founded in 1932 as McGee Airways and commenced operations in 1944, June 6, as Alaska Airlines, when they changed their name to Alaska Airlines. Their fleet consists of 143 aircraft in their mainline fleet, which doesn't include regional type aircraft like the Q400s they have. They have 61 of the Dash 800s, which is this series, and 47 of those are ETOPS ratings. They have 95 destinations. Um, mainly US mainland and on September 27 September 2014 I actually flew on Alaska Airlines 737-800 from Lax to Ronald Reagan I did a um an in-flight video on that so you can go check that out and uh, the Boeing customer code for Alaskan is 90 so this livery um, was painted on the aircraft on June th in June 2013, and uh, this aircraft was actually delivered on tw 12 October 2006. Currently, this aircraft actually has the split scimitar winglets as of December 2014. So I don't know why Gemini Jets didn't put the split scimitars on. They just gone they just put the regular winglets winglets on. So I'll just show you around the box here. Take this off the tripod. Just a standard Gemini box as always. Got the licenses. There's the website, and there. All right. So now let's open it up. So we have the stand, same as the Southwest stand in my previous video. So that that just fits into there like that. That chrome stand which I'll get into later and here's the model itself we've also got retractable gears all right let's bring the runway up here all right let's get into this Okay, we'll start at the front here. There's the cockpit uh, windows, uh, the nose cone, and looks like we might have part of the registration on the above the cockpit. Maybe we do, maybe we don't. Looks like we do, 560. And there's uh, ETOPS on the gear door, as you can see. This has an ETOPS rating. Uh, 560 that's part of the registration and that dash 800 that's the uh, type of aircraft it is of the 737 and uh, so let's go through this delivery um, so we got here I don't remember all the islands I know most of them um, so we'll start here with this little one right here at the bottom that is uh, Nihau and then we got here that's Kauai 
Here's the most populated island, Oahu. Um, right here, Molokai. Then we've got uh, Lenai right here. And then this one right here, underneath this other island, um, that's Kaha Kahaolawe. I think that's how it's pronounced, I'm not too sure. Then we got Maui, and then we got the big island of Hawaii. Alright, so that's done, and then we'll move on to, there's the Alaska titles, with the hibiscus flowers. The national flower of, or well, um, this like the state flower of Hawaii, and you can see behind it there's a. It shows the mountainous regions. Very nice with the palm trees. This represents um, the state very well. These um, engines here, these are CFMI CFM fifty six seven B two seven. And if you didn't know, CFM International is a joint owned company between Snigma and General Electric. And I'll just show you inside the engines. They do turn, or they should turn. As you can see, it does turn. And let's try the other one. No, that one does not turn, but at least one of them does turn. And then there's the Spirit of the Islands titles, and here's the winglet with the red navigation light on the port side. There's a registration in 560AS or November 560 Alpha Sierra. And if you see there behind the last cabin door, there is the American flag because this is um, one of the flag carriers of the United States. Now we turn around, turn this around to the APU. Very nice APU there. Okay, and there's the cockpit again with the 560 800 series on the bottom, E tops. There's the Hawaiian Islands there. Look just there, there's the under the Alaska titles, there's the uh, front cargo container door, the hibiscus flowers, the CFM 56 engine, and on the inside of the inboard wing, uh, there's the landing light. Then we've got the winglet, the green. Uh, with the green navigation light. Then we've got Spirit of the Islands titles and we've got one of those, I um, can't remember the name of them, they're like a canoe type thing and um, that's what the natives used to use um, when they go out into the water. There's still quite a lot of them around Waikiki and this is sort of representation of Waikiki right here with the beach and then the famous mountain diamond head which I've been up um, and it's 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 a really good trek up there up to diamond head so um, if you go to Hawaii uh, or especially Oahu uh, make sure you go up uh, diamond head so uh, what I do now is I will show you some of the seating before I show you underneath the aircraft and on top of the aircraft. So there are I think four or five, no I think four versions of the Dash 800 in terms of Alaska's seating. So there's the slimline version and that consists of first class 16 recliner seats um, from rows 1 to 4 so I'm guessing that's from about here to there somewhere around there and then there is 147 economy seats from rows 15 to 30 so about they, they, they jump from 
4 to 15, but yeah, that's about 15 to 32 on the left side and 15 to 33 on the right side. So those are the rows. Um, And, oh sorry, also, uh, sorry, rows 15 to 32, um, it's rows 6 to 11 as well, there's rows 6 to 11, um, and then there is version 1, there, that consists of 16 recliner sets from rows 1 to 4, I've already shown you that, and then there is 141 um, economy seats, roughly the same, so from here all the way to the back. Version 2, there are 16 recliner seats again in first class from rows 1 to 4. Economy seats, 144 seats uh, from rows 6 to 11 and then 15 to 32. So that's a total of, uh, total of 160 seats. Uh, I should, should say Slimline version had a total of 163 seats. Version 1, a total of 157 seats. And version 2, 160 seats. Version 3 had 16 recliner seats in first class. From rows 1 to 4, again, economy seats 144 from rows 6 to 12, and then 15 to 31. So that's basically from, again, there all the way to the back. And that's 160 seats. So, I'll give you guys a look of the model underneath. So we've got the first gear. These, these gears are retractable, which i just show you now. Uh, let's see if I can get this first one off. Yep, I've had a hard time getting this one off lately, but yeah, they're retractable. They're not, I don't think they're magnetic as, they might be magnetic, partly, but they're not fully magnetic gears. And here are the gear replacements. Can't really see them, but yeah. There's, uh, there's an antenna right there. Hole for the stand. Gemini Jets logo, there's a, um, Beacon light up there, the main gears. See all the ailerons, flaps, slats, and all that. Same on the same on this side. And we've got an antenna there. Another antenna, and then we got the housing for the APU, and we got the bit for the um, tail strike, the little hump there. Now we have a look on top of the aircraft. We've got an anti-collision beacon, an antenna, another antenna painted on. We've got the overwing exits, spoilers, flaps, slats, ailerons. Same on the side. You can also see the... Ooh! That wasn't good. I didn't damage the model. Okay, that's good. I didn't damage the model. I'm sorry about your ears right there because that was pretty loud. Um, just sort of slipped out my hand there. Um, we've got the air deflectors on the inside of the engines. And that's about it on the top there. Yeah, I don't think I dam damaged the model. Nah, it, lo it looks really good. It re looks really good. So yeah, and these main gears come off as well. Just show you there. See, they come off. I'm not going to take it all off because it's kind of difficult to back get back in. The gears do roll, very nice. And so what I'll do now is I will put it on the stand. And I have to say these stands are better than some of the others, like the tripods in the past, because those were really bad. So this is just a regular chrome stand, and there we go. So this is going to be the end of this video right here. Um, tomorrow I'll be headed out to Brisbane and the Gold Coast in Australia, so I will have a in-flight video going there and hopefully coming back. Um, and also make sure you check out my previous video, the Gemini Jets new releases of April 2015, and the next video will be a Qantas A380. So. Anyway guys, if you did enjoy this video, make sure you leave it a like, comment, tell me if you're going to get this or tell me what you think of it, if you have got it. Um, also, share this video so people can know about it, they can decide if they want to get it. Subscribe, 
there's a lot of content on the way. I just um, there's I've had two new shipments just being shipped out. I got notifications yesterday, so those are the Etihad A380 Virgin Atlantic 787-9, um, American 787-8, and there's another one there. And then there's the in New, in New Zealand ATR 72600, Royal New Zealand Air Force 757, and the Eva Airways 777-300ER from Phoenix Models. So there's a lot more. There's two more I've got to do and uh, before I go away. So I want to thank you guys for watching the video today, and I'll see you guys next time.